Hi, this is Rick Stroud with the St. Petersburg Times at One Buck Place as the Bucks prepare for their game at Cincinnati coming off a of bye week. And the big matchup this week is going to be, of course, for the defense when you face Cincinnati Bengals receivers like Terrell Owens and Chad Ochocinco. Owens coming off an enormous game, 222 yards against the Cleveland Browns. And, of course, we all know about Chad Ochocinco, one of the best combination of receivers. And they're going up against a very young secondary. You know about Aqib Tlaib. Of course, Ronnie Barber is their experience. But what about Cody Grimm, the young safety, making just his second start? Gave up a big touchdown to Mike Wallace. You also have well, E.J. Biggers will come in in nickel situations. So a lot of talk about that matchup this week. It's going to be something to watch. Hard to double two receivers that go vertical. You'll see a lot of Tampa, too, according to Raheem Morris and some quarters coverage. They're going to move Aqib Tlaib around. He won't just be on one receiver. At times he'll be on one guy or the other. So interesting matchup in the secondary. Something else to watch for this week is that you're hearing a lot of buzzwords about young ascending talent. That's what Raheem Morris calls his group of young players that they've been preparing to play in this game, and they're at various positions. There are some guys you may see active this week at receiver, a Preston Parker, Regis Ben will take on more of a role. Then you have the running backs, Kareem Huggins, coming off that groin injury he expects to play. And, of course, LeGarrette Blunt. We've heard a lot about him filling in for Cadillac Williams to give him you know, a rest or a spell. I think that is the movement towards the future that they're going to make at the running back position. And, of course, on defense, Michael Bennett may be active. He's a guy that led them in sacks in the preseason. And so a lot of young players, some new faces, and what it means to some of the veterans, who's going to be active on Sunday, that remains to be seen. So check back here. Uh, with the St. Pete Times on the website. We'll be updating you throughout the week as they prepare for the Cincinnati Bengals.